Uh, uh. Anyhow, anyway. We thank the Lord for Jesus. Uh, there we go. And we say... Oh, okay. Okay, then we'll put it back here like it's supposed to be. Alrighty. It says rotate. Okay, rotate it already. There we go. Anyhow, the question and the time that we have right now. What to do? Shall man shall always pray and not be of a faint heart? Or shall we not pray? If we don't know what to pray for, that's our reason. Because you may not know what to pray for, so the spirit intercedes with moans and groans that cannot be uttered. Through prayer, with thanksgiving, letting your requests be made known to God. And the God of peace shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. The reference we have for prayer today. Mm-hmm. Though... Man fell down. It's all right. You may not know what to pray for. Hmm. Interesting globe here. The globe that we have here. So, we don't know what to pray for. We don't know how to pray. We don't know how to love. We don't know how to intercede on behalf of someone else. In the world. We don't know how. You don't want to. Oh. So let us pray. Father God. We thank you and praise you. Father God. For you know just what to do. You know how to touch each and every world leader. Everywhere. On this planet. We don't know them name by name. Vision by vision. And house by house. But you do. You know every inkling. Of every crocodile every hippopotamus where they lay down. You know every cat, every dog, every flea, every ant, and every molecule that's in the universe. How much greater you know the hearts of men, that many of them are feeling them right now because they're afraid. They're afraid of what's going on in the world. Not knowing that you are in control of the universe. How much more of the people on planet earth. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So we're praying, Lord, for the unseen, invisible things that you bring into order into this world full of beauty. The people are very beautiful, but they have some ugly ass ways. And you know all about it. Since henceforth you put the flood into the world, and you said it'd be not by flood by the next time, but it'd be by fire. And in the universe, in the planets that we have here on Earth, there's a lot of hot spots. They're called volcanoes. And they're actually in submission to the Creator, which sometimes, many times, the earthlings are not. So henceforth, man should always pray and not be of a faint heart. So we're praying for the people here on this part of the globe. Our turn. And we'll say a prayer for the people in Greenland. Hallelujah. We'll pray for Europe, for the people in Sweden and Finland and the United Kingdom. We're praying right now for the people in Russia. Oh, Lord, you touch right now the people in the state of Alaska. Touch the North American people in Canada. Lord, as we go throughout the universe of your time and your procedure, of what you're doing to the people on planet earth right now and their vain philosophies and their vain sociologies and their worthless dancing and stuff 
but they're dancing trying to reach to you, dancing to try to get out of this body so they can be free to float through the universe of time. Did you hear them say, Lord, what is it that you visit man, that you're so mindful of us on this planet? In Iran, in Uzbekistan, in Kazakhstan, over there in Czechoslovakia, the people over there in Mongolia. And don't forget, Lord, all your people in the Philippine Islands, in the islands over of Japan, Father God. Touch right now those in Hawaii as we travel through the Samoan Islands, Father God. Touch right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. Touch those people in Cincinnati and Wilmington, Delaware. Touch right now, Lord, as we travel through the people in Veracruz and those that are in Acapulco and Nicaragua. Touch right now as we travel throughout your universe of time, not knowing what to pray for, whom to pray for, but you intercede with the moans and groans that cannot be uttered. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank God for the permission that he had given to us. Whether you upside down, whether you're inside out, whether you have a job or you don't have a job, God's got to work, and his work is very serious all the time. And his work can be done day and night and any time, and that is through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. And we shall pray continuously because people all over the world stand in the need of prayer. And right here in Morocco, right here in Mali, right here in Algeria, right here in the Sudan, touch in Arabia, touch in Oman, touch right now in India, touch right now the people in Vietnam, in Malaysia, touch right now in the house of the dormant people that are in the house of whoredoms, touch right now in the dope house, touch right now in the whole house, touch right now in your house. Right now, touch in the minds and the hearts of men everywhere in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you come out to pray? Can you come out and pray? Can you come out of your closet and into the prayer closet and come out and pray? Pray one for another everywhere in the mighty name of Jesus. Not your philosophy, not your religion, not your Hinduism, Islam, Idaism, or Whatever it is, but can you can pray and pray? Pray ye one for another. Pray to your God. Ask your God to heal and deliver and set free like none other. In Jesus' name, greater works shall ye do because I go to the Father. So it's time for us to get up and do the work. You cannot get up. Well, get up in prayer. Get up in thanksgiving. Get up in supplications with prayer and thanksgiving and let your request be known to God and the God of peace shall keep your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus because the times as you know it will be no more the people that have passed away they are gone but we still here today with the opportunity to help heal and deliver that individual the loving grace of God through his word through his touch have you given the person a look the touch and the word. Love ye one another as I have loved you as we travel through the world and go to Egypt and pray for the people in Turkey along those in the Black Sea. Touching right now today, Lord, those that are in Finland. Touching right now, Lord, those that are down under in Aussieland. Australia, touch right now. Lord, as we travel through the converses of time and space, touching those in Colombia and Venezuela, touching in Brazil and all the way to Argentina, touch right now, touch right now, touch right now. You can touch all the way to the Arctics, the North and the South Poles, and the poles of people's lives. And if they're dancing on the pole, give them the strength to go out and touch that individual and show them how the pole can hold them up until they get strength of their own to stand on their own. Help us today, those that have the strength to go out into the world and teach right now, whatever they have been taught, whatever skill set they have, to go into the world and teach and heal and deliver. Not being sensitive to the 
desires of your fleshly desire, but sensitive to the needs of that individual. No matter what color or sex or what part of the world they have come from, they belong to God, you belong to God, the universe belongs to God. Everything that has been created and that is and was and is to come belongs to God, whether you like it or not. God has got his whole hand into the universal realm of what you're doing right now today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come to you, thanking you, praising you, adoring you, and magnifying your word that this too shall not be in vain, Lord. Your word is forever settled throughout the universe, not totally where the people live on planet Earth, but throughout the universe, his word is forever settled. So we go and pray for the people in the United States. Lord, touch right now. Touch right now. Lord, those are in China. Those are in Taiwan. Those in Myanmar. Those that are lying and backbiting and hating on other people because of the color of their skin, because of the tongues they speak, whether they in Sri Lanka, whether they in Sumatra, Wherever they may be in Madagascar, wherever they may be in Kenya, wherever they may be, Lord, in Libya, wherever they may be, right over here in Czechoslovakia, in Ukraine, in Poland, and Berlin, and Denmark, and Nor Norway, and over across the seas over here, and to the island lands of Puerto Rico. Lord, touch right now those people in the Yucatan Peninsula, in Jamaica, and Belize, and Honduras. Lord, touch right now in Guatemala and Ecuador. Lord, touch right now in Bolivia. Touch right now your peoples everywhere in the mighty name of Jesus. And we come down and we look below down here in the Congo Republic. Touch right now in Angola and Zimbabwe and Zambia. Touch right now in Tanzania. Touch right now in the Mozambique, Botswana. Touch right now as we travel down here and go to and we see the people here and there and everywhere in the Mariachas Islands. Touch right now. Lord, nobody but you, nobody but you can do what you have done throughout the universe of time. Touch right now, Lord. And we didn't say you pray for them. Stand up and stand up and be counted. So much trouble in the land. Trouble everywhere I go, but Jesus, he will fix it for you, no matter what the problem, wherever you may believe, wherever you may live. If you live in the Fiji Islands, if you live over there in New Zealand, if you live near an earthquake fault, if you live near a volcano, if you live on top of a heat pile of a bunch of stuff, we're going to pray for you too. Thanking God for his deliverance, thanking God for this time, thanking God for his mercy, for his mercy is true. And we thank God for interceding on behalf of each and every one on planet earth. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Holy and righteous is his word. If you have not heard about Jesus, he is the one that came from heaven's glory that came into the world and the world received him not because it didn't want him into their life because he stirred up the economic system. He stirred up the religious system. He stirred it up and told them, do you love one another? Then do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Stop lying, stop killing, and cop, stop murdering one another. Read your Bible and pray every day and you'll grow, grow, grow. You neglect to read your Bible, you neglect to study, and you neglect to pray. Then you will receive the due penalties for your lack of concern for the individuals around you, including the person in the mirror. Now don't forget, faith comes by hearing and hearing of the Word of God. We can go on and on, but today is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. The Lord delivered me from myself, from my empty marginal life on this planet to let me know there is a need for you 
and you and you to go tell somebody go tell somebody because time as you know it will be no more for that individual so what are you going to do how are you going to present yourself before God and his holy angels and holy are you when you separate yourself from yourself to allow God to reach inside of you and deliver you from yourself so you can help that individual, if you please. God got us hemlocked on this planet to love one another. Do you love the Lord enough to tell somebody? It's up to you. Have a good day. We thank the Lord for you. Praise the Lord for you and you. And we will post that. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to read Proverbs chapter 29. Okay. Thank you.